Hey, hey, you're waking up. That's it. Open those eyes. Hey, kid, no, 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 no. I know they look sweet and all, but we don't know who they are, what they're doing here, or what their intentions are. Which, if you are as awake as you seem, brings me to my questions. Um, who are you? Why are you here? Are we going to have to fight you? I, <laughs> don't bother trying to draw your sword. I took all the weapons off you while you were unconscious. Can't be too careful down here. You would now... You would know, right? I mean, you don't seem like terribly roughed up, so either you're real skilled at fighting and dodging or and sneaking or you haven't been down here very long. <laughs> right. Well, as you can see or feel, you're a bit, uh, tied up at the moment. Don't take it personally, sweetheart. Just gotta look out for myself. And the little one. Here, don't, don't look at them. Get behind me. So. Let's try that again, shall we? Yeah, I'm interrogating you. Problem. <laughs> no, I don't look like an interrogator. Do I work in the prison? What? <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, love, but uh, prisons aren't exactly what they were. No. No, I don't work here. Have you been living under a rock? Well, no, I guess most of the outside world doesn't know the extent of what's happened here. <laughs> you really are fresh meat down here, huh? Okay. Also, you say. I'm just saying, I don't know who you are yet. Which, again, first question. Who are you? <laughs> How about this? Uh, you give me your name, I'll give you mine. And I might untie it. Well, not just for a name, no, but once you've proven you're not going to kill me. Or the kid. <laughs> well, I don't know if you've noticed most things try and kill you down here. Well, such high praise to say that I don't look like one of the monsters going around here. Yeah, no, thank you for noticing. I would hope you would notice that. But, um... <laughs> can't be too careful. And, uh, just because you're not one of them doesn't mean you don't pose me or the girl any harm. Why would you harm a child? Uh, I don't know, maybe because there's a giant fucking furry cat man walking around who, like, keeps trying to get me to sell her to him. And I don't know who you are, and I don't know if you're going to kidnap her off me to then sell me. I don't even know what he will give you in return for a fucking child. But, like, I mean, it can't be good, right? I mean, what's someone doing dressed as a purple cat down here, though? I'll be honest. I tried to get kind of a look at him from behind, like, to see where the scene was on that thing. And I, like, couldn't see one. So... I guess given that everything I've seen down here and like what sort of creatures are down here I don't think that's actually a costume yeah so how do I you know know that you're not working for the big purple cat man you're looking at me like I'm a crazy person I guess that would make sense if you haven't been in here very long that you haven't come across him yet. This really isn't doing a lot to convince you that I'm that I still have my sanity, is it? Great, right. Um 
okay, maybe let's try that again. And let's just presume we're both normal people who aren't, uh, haven't met a strange purple cat men. So, what's your name? What harm can it do? I mean, like, what am I going to do with just a first name? Just, I... Thank you. I'm Kahara. I'd uh, give you a hand a little shake, but... Yeah, it's not tied up. Oh, you don't need to know the girl's name. You can just... You call her, um... Like, a kid. I just normally call her kid. Yeah. Or... Of course I know what her name is. She definitely told me. Um, and definitely has one. And didn't have, like, fucked up parents that might have never given her a name. Hey, <laughs> don't you go accusing me of things. I didn't bring her here, okay? Or you think I'm some sort of lunatic that's gonna, like, come to do a contract and bring a kid along with me? Uh, did I say contract? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, uh, no, the kid is not mine. I mean, she's kind of, I mean, I've kind of taken her under my wing and all, seeing if she doesn't have anyone else. I mean, she's not, uh, she's not my kid. I don't have kids. Well, I might have a kid. What? Hmm. She's not mine. But I am, I've assigned myself as her guardian. Well, if you must. I found a locked up in a cage down here. Now you know this place was a prison, right? You said so. But are they supposed to have kids down here? I don't think this is meant to be like a juvenile prison, do you? So I don't know what was going on down here, right? But from what I have seen, this hasn't been a normal prison in some fucking time, okay? I mean, I don't know if it ever really was. What with the torturer guy? Anyway, question two. Why are you here? There's no point in keeping secrets down here, love. And I could just leave you tied up here, so. You don't think I would? Oh, just because I seem like the kind soul to rescue a child. I don't know who you are. As I say, you could pose as harm. So, what you doing here? Looking for someone. You don't say. <laughs> There's not that many someones down here. In fact, very few someones down here that people would know about. I mean, I'm not. We're not the only people traveling down here. Oh yeah, I don't think we're. Uh, no, I definitely. I've got acquaintances. I don't know if they'd allow me to call them friends down here. So, you know, you attack us. Maybe, maybe my, uh, my new big strong viking man might, um... But she, you, are you still listening? Fine, okay, so he's not mine, but, like, you haven't seen him. Or, uh, big strong night lady. Honestly, just like so many options. I mean, even the, even that priest, you know. I mean, like, I guess anyone looks good when you're down here. Anyway, y you didn't ask about that. Point is, I'm not alone. So you think twice before making a move. And all of us came down here looking for things. And three of us came down looking for the same someone. <laughs> So I have to wonder if that's also who you're looking for. Because if so, that might be a bit of a problem for me. I mean, it's already a bit of a problem that they're also looking for him, but, you know, I can sort of work with. It's not like they're wanting to collect the money. But if you do, 
I might not want to share it. Part of greed, mind you. I've got people back home who need it more than I do, so. Well, the reward money. You didn't know there was reward money. I mean, like, that's, <laughs> if there wasn't reward money, I wouldn't be here. I mean, like, is that a London flag? You're a knight. Well, no, yeah, I could tell that, but I mean, you're a knight. You're one of theirs. And why would you be here for him? Well, I'm not going to say who, because you, you should say who. I'm not going to give anything away if we're not talking... Uh, we are talking about the same person. Right, like, you're here to rescue someone. So am I. But you're not expecting reward money. <laughs> well, no, but you imagine... Some of the royals might be grateful. Oh, we're definitely not talking about the same person then. Okay. Um, that's good though, means we don't have to split the money. I am might not be good. I, you, prob you might not want me to rescue said person. Though we, we can agree that like, no, no one deserves to be down here, right? I mean, you haven't seen much of it, but <laughs> come on, you can tell that much. So you're not looking for... Um... <sighs> I suppose I'm the one who said secrets don't really matter much down here. You're not looking for the god, then. And who are you looking for? Well, look, we're not encroaching on each other's territory, are we? You know, you're not taking any of my reward money so we could help each other out I mean you're a big strong knight you know I mean there's a pretty decent sword I assume you know how to use it so you could you could team up with us no there's not many different someone's down here so unless you're looking for <laughs> I can't see you're looking for any of the others that I've met at least not that I'm traveling with so there's not that many other people we've run into around here. I don't think you want the torture of man thing. Um, Rodon. And you're with our... Or affiliated with the royals. I might have met someone who is also affiliated with similar people. Oh, okay, excited. You'd have to give me a name, though, because if... What if it turns out you're actually here to kill them? And then I accidentally get killed. So... I mean, he was alive the last time I saw him. Them. Wh whoever they are. Your captain? No, he's certainly not a captain. He did mention one, though. When Bokman asked us to look for the other members of his party, he didn't mention one that looked like you. Yeah, Buckman's down here. You're not... Oh, fuck, what are the names? Um... Seymour, Cyril, and... Jean. Well, 
well, I mean, he seemed to think Sir Cyril was down here. I haven't met him. I don't know if he's alright. You didn't... You're not part of his party, then. And what are you doing down here? None really seems to know. I mean, he doesn't even know how long he's been down here. Unless, has it been years? And you're the backup. But why are they some backup all on their own? You came on your own. You're not following orders, are you? Ooh, ooh. Are you like, whatever's going on with Dars, we're like, this captain of yours. Special, is he? Uh, uh, you might not have been successfully able to hit me, but I could see the intent behind those shoulders. Sorry. Look. I've got people special to me on the outside that I want to get back to, and... You know, if... If Celeste was down here... Yeah, I probably would come on a stupid solo mission to try and get her back. <laughs> oh, my wife. The most beautiful creature in all of Rodan. In all the world, probably. I mean... The wife thing, sort of, like... To help her out, you know? I don't know if she, you know, if she had more money if, and a safer life, if she'd still pick me, but it, she's like my best mate, and we love each other, so it works, and uh, she is beautiful. <laughs> but I don't want you thinking, because of what I said earlier, that I am uh, down here Flandering about in this fucking dungeon. <laughs> we have an arrangement, the two of us. I will always take care of her and come home to her. But, uh, we're allowed to see other people. You know, if you were curious and all. I mean, you haven't been able to keep your eyes off me. What? And you think it's polite to look at who you're talking to. Well, I think eye contact is creepy and uncomfortable. So, you know, whatever. But, like, <laughs> I needed you to be checking me out. I'm just going to maybe, like, couldn't just stretch my arms up a bit. A I, look... <clears throat> Do not judge my attire for coming in here, right? This is practical in a way. It is comfy and easy for me to move around in. And I'm from... I'm not from here. You, you can tell. Hmm. Look, I'm just because I've not got the posh fucking talk like you guys have got. Look, I am used to being from a warmer climate. And I am not made of money. So... I might still have clothes that don't cover as much of me skin up. Usually people don't complain about getting to see more of my skin, though. I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Wait. So, you're captain. You're looking for him. Um, confirm the name for me. No, I remember what it is. I just need to make sure that you're, like, telling the truth. Rudimer. When he means something to you. I can be, I can be serious, okay? You don't gotta tell me what, and, you know. Doesn't mean you have a crush on her. But you wanna make sure he's safe. can understand that. 
and you wouldn't be the only person who's come in here solo, headstrong, determined to rescue the man they love, not accusing you of loving him, just saying there might be a certain other knight in here who is pretty blinded. <sighs> so hey, I guess you two could bond over that, even though I guess you're sort of maybe on opposite sides of... Anyway, um... <clears throat> I haven't seen him, your captain. I'm not saying that means he's dead. I'm just saying I haven't seen him. I mean, I don't want you to get your hopes up. But... You'd have an idea of how long Putman's been down here, right? Okay, not years. That's good. Um, but months. He told me that he's never been able to find him while he's been down here. Now, either he hasn't gone deep enough into the dungeon. From what I hear, your captain was told to, um... <clears throat> well, one wasn't exactly happy to be here on the state of things. And the torture and the, the prisoners and whatnot. Sounds like a, a decent man. I mean, the bar's pretty low, I'll be honest, to just think that, you know, to for me to think a good man is someone who thinks torture isn't cool. But, um... I mean, you've seen what's become of the gods, right? I mean, you've made it this far. So... He was ordered to, uh, purify, whatever that means, the dungeons, I think that just means kill everything, but I, I, who do I, what do I know, maybe he had some sort of magic on him to try and heal those who've been, uh, I don't know what you would call what's happened to the guards, like, deformed, mutilated, uh, what's the, mutated, that's the word, and so, if he is further down in the depths of the dungeons, if he made it that far to, you know, complete his mission, I need you to be prepared for the fact that he might be alive, but he might be, like, not himself anymore. Again, I, I don't know. I don't know what he's like, but given everything I've seen, and... Knowing the guards and most of the creatures down here used to be human, whether they used to be the people who worked here or the prisoners that were here. I mean, you know, Putman's still fine. I mean, he's, he's losing his mind a bit, but aren't we all? But he's still human. Seymour's still human. Um, I haven't found the others yet. But, you know... Or whatever made the gods become what they are. Your captain was down here when that happened. Sure, maybe those gods worked here longer than, than your captain did. Again, I don't know. Maybe some people down in the depths have just got him in a cage somewhere or something. Maybe he's fine. But, um, Butman's asked us to find the rest of his party. And in doing so, I suppose it's likely that we may also find out what happened to your captain. Well, yes, because he's paying me, but let, look. <laughs> I don't want to be down here any longer than I have to. And with an extra pair of hands who are good with a sword... That certainly would hopefully make it quicker to get through. And given we've agreed to uh, help Bookman out, that might take us down the path to find your captain. You could come along with us if you want. Certainly would be nice to have another piece of eye candy around. <laughs> okay, so I might just be saying those things now to watch yourself strain. 
in, uh, in all that rope. Let me, um... Oh. <laughs> I didn't ask the third question. You're not gonna kill us, right? Like I said, you can travel around with us. Better chance of you staying alive, and we'll help you if we can. I mean, we're literally exploring all of the dungeons, so that includes any nook and cranny that your captain might be hiding in, so. Well, you're welcome. God, you know, it's rare to find people with manners down here. Okay, let me... Let me untie you. No, I'm not just going to cut through the rope. Do you know how hard it is to find, like, decent rope down here? I'm keeping hold of what I can get. Yeah. Do you think because you weren't able to get out that I won't be able to untie it? <laughs> you, you did hear me say, like, reward money, right? Do you think I'm just some random guy who came down here? Well, since we've been all honest and open with each other. I'm a mercenary. I know what I'm doing. Don't let the, uh, the friendly facade fool you. When you try and hurt me or the girl, I will kill you. We understand each other. Great. Well, then, you just let me reach around there. There you go. Yeah. Move those shoulders around a bit. Ah, oh, you weren't tied up for too long, you'll be fine. Oh, uh, you were out for like... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't the one to knock you unconscious, I just found you lying down here on the ground. Yeah. Thought you might have been dead, was about to pick your pockets and then... No, I guess you'd lost a fight with something. Or just passed out from exhaustion. So. Frankly, you know, you should be thanking me. I mean, you kind of did, but like, the, you know, lucky that I'm the one who found you and not anything else that lurks down here. Ah, right, sword, yep. Yeah. You can have it back, but I'm keeping my eyes on you. Partially because, you know, you are so nice to look at. <laughs> hey, look, was that? If I can make you smile or blush, my compliments are not hollow, just so you know. I mean everything that I say. I mean, well, not everything. I mean, of course, I lie at times. But when it comes to, you know, talking to beautiful people... Well, there's a lot of beautiful people in the world. I can find a lot of people beautiful. I don't know. You know. If we ever get to a point where it looks like it's the end and you don't want to die a virgin, my services are always available. <laughs> oh, don't get upset. I didn't mean you were actually a virgin. Unless saving yourself for your captain where you I ow Right Fair But just so you know the offer is still on the table. Okay, kid Yeah, let's go find Uncle Rack. And again Don't mistake the cheery facade for weakness. Handsome as you are. And when I say I'm keeping my eyes on you. I am. I'm making sure you don't do anything that puts us in danger. One wrong move, I won't hesitate. Especially if it endangers the girl. Yeah, well. Someone had to step up, clearly neither of her parents did. 
you know, I might have actually been becoming a father. Yeah. What do you mean that doesn't surprise you? Ooh. No, I'll let you have that since I was teasing you. You can tease me back. Okay, well, don't know if it's mine or not, actually. Point is, it's less than about three months along, and regardless of whose it is, uh, I mean, it's probably not mine, but I am. Well, I'm not going to tell you why that is. Anyway, I have a point. You're making me forget it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what the money's for. Just before you think I'm some sort of, like, greedy, heartless bastard, you know? Oh my god, speaking of bastards, and you, like, haven't got that deep in the dungeon yet. Yeah, you should really be careful. There is all sorts of things down here, and I don't even mean, like... And the guards on, like, cave guards or anything like that. I mean, like, there's, like... Creatures that just kind of, like, roam alone. I mean, you can't have come across them yet, otherwise I don't see how you'd be standing with us, like... If you, like, hear, like, crow sounds, like, you better, like, run. And I mean run, I have no idea what that guy's deal is. But, like, he's so fast. And, like, he's got his arms, like, a sword, bludgeoning thing. And, um, and he's kind of ripped. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, like, if he wasn't trying to kill us. Yeah, I mean, the downside is he does have the head of a bird. Change the round. Anyway, point is, gotta be careful, right? I mean, I, again, like I said, don't know what that guy's deal is. Um, it's honestly better to just try and outrun him than like engage, because then you know there's such a risk. Yeah. Um, so you wanna watch out for him, and then uh, have you got deep enough to be like any of like the the cults? Yeah. Because you know there's lots of cults. Thank you all so much for watching, my lovelies. Reminder that I have a Patreon. If everyone who subscribed to me gave me just £1 a month, that would help me out a lot, allow me to move out and keep making audios in a safer environment. Rewards of being a patron of mine include access to my Discord, ad free streaming and downloads of all my audios, and two exclusive spicy audios a month, with at least one per month picked from your requests if you join the top fledgling tier and more. I also stream on Twitch most Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays, and have an Etsy shop called Empty Masks where I sell fan art and original art. My Etsy also has stickers and other merch of my audio original characters under the Devampire Prince section of my shop. My art commissions are also currently open. Audio commissions are currently closed. Thank you to my patrons, my fledglings, Andy Christ, Solomon, Lauren Lovett, Sazzy NK, Ebony Void, Fruit Island, Raincloud, Ciel, Nerd Herder, Satan is a Real Man, Ruby Red Gem, Carry On, Livia Nasuto, Yuang Noto, Astrosh, Percy, Hell, Spicy But Sad, The Solar Sis, Tiffany Royal, Void, Asper, River Heights, Puff, Joanna Cole, Rose Zumbly, Rake Art, Sweethearts Die, Emerald, Sweet Jade, Tizness, Kit, M, Secure Moon, Emery, Zorn MB, Goth Mother, Peachy, Pumpkin Pie 2 3, Nicole Thompson, Tyler, Valkyries, Despair, Caitlin Mitchell, Dawn Robin, Persephone Black, Oh Man, Lady D, but slug for music, beautiful forms, horn, Persephone Palace, Null and Void, Seo, Doomafog, Alpaca Avalanche, Philip Damaron, Steph, Asteraceae, Mark, Alma Moon, Demonic Society, Diana, Chalks Broods, Ethereal Viking, Jazz, Emily, Vic, Nye, Abnason, Amara Key, Athena, Alyssa, Josie Mosel, Pluto, Calix A, the Sleeping Poet, Next Time on, Senegay Fever, Next, Google, Bellwether, Pie Chart and Flow, Aster Sarah, Rowan the Hunter, Joe, Philip Dwarkel, Shobbs, Melissa Simpson, True Slasher, Life is Strange, SH7, Ophelia, Della, Incognito, Irrelevant Listener, Desi Fowl, Green Frog, Keyboard Clicks, Sister of War, Gabrielle Simpkins, Charlie, Boop, Bookstore Cryptid, Edward, Jerome McRae, Wisteria Song, Max Little Spoons, J Aries, Ace, Delirious, Ray, LED, Skybound, Sunny, Daffin Lake, Alexa P of Destiny, Miles, David Rosal, Ost, Virgie, Willow Eyes, Lindsay Houston, Coffee Pot Cat, Cradle the Void, Toka Grove Grim, Rio Plusher, Momo Mai Mai, Vendo Supreme, Mad Hatter, Grimbeam, May Pop, Collective Unit System, Fox Boy, Frostridden, Alex Moore, Marco01, M, 
Warner Yakin, Dow, Planet MB, KT, Briar Fell, Maria Davis, Jenner, Jordan, Omen Warnman, PT, Daniel Wolf, PG Sakura, Creston Potter, Elixir, X Profane X, Abby Cats 1 6, Skylar Sheridan, I Am My Family's Loki, Olivia Osman, N Siren, Cassius, Iceberg, Avery, Ember Rain, Fishy 7 8, Golden Me, Plant Gato, Hosh, The Silent Star, L, Undercover Clown, Chrissy, Jamza Jopal, Wolf of the Book, Primrose Puff, Ducky, Air Jean, Bumble Baby, Agenda Techno, Dez, Ica 111, Iron Bias, Untrust Regenerator, Rainstorm, Will, Seppy Day, Blue Flame, Bumpkin, Northern Isle, AMC 172A, Lux Murder, Mossy Croquet, Jaloxed, Moro, Hero, Quinn, SL, The Kraken, The Master of Tea, Arlo, Marina, October, Six Fabbits, Peg the Queen, Pexy, RMW, Red Velvet Rose, Lauren Torquil, Fantasy Princess, ASDF, Beloved Bob Goblin, Large Andy, Ambrose, Midnight Whisper, Musa, Antichrist Socialite, Daniel D. Desjardins, Chaos Fox, Ash, Regina, Nav, Black Seraphim 7, Heaven, Sequoia, Dragon Kitten 2, Ash, Adventurous Hunter, Fiara Emperor, Felix, Sam, Actually Static, Chrissy 7, Little Adventurer, Lost in Space Max, Colin Healy, Alex, Green Blue, Oz Collection of Teas, Angelus, Peachy Pop, Sakura the Neko, Lumen Boy, Luna Moth, LEC, Yanks at Scholar, Bloody Ray, Grayson, Ren Pearson, Cinnamon Bunny, Rose Cat, The Boy with No Name, Blue Cheese Cactus, Lex Frazier, Has, Necromania, Vexed and Hexed, Obscure Honor, Pidge, Vivi, Cyrus, Owl, Spooky Quest, Catastrophe 1742, Alec Wins, Mingus Owen, Jay the Bat, Becca, Caitlin Whisker, E, Banshee, Irina Shapiro, Kit Bird, Saw Lesser, Jack, Dionysus, Shadow 071108, Charlie Andy 101, Uh oh, Leviathan, Galactic Library, Apollo, Worgen, Vincent, Cameo Peterson, Costa Bum Bum, Umiav, Fox, Benj, a hundred bunnies, Apple XX Pop, Ainsley Sick, Ranger Lee, Livable Boy, Lily, Miranda Membry, Jody Murray, Artist Link, Fabulous of Life, Mikey the Grey Bobber, Kill One, Mac, Roy, Shay, Riv, Fluffy Puffs, Devil Videl, Kill Gore, Fairy Pill, Elise Joyner, Simple, Jinxo, Daryl, Apple Pie, Vi, Icarus, Verona, Gabby, Not That Emo, Ladybug 232, Extraterrestrial Omega, Midgardian Witch, Mother, Helios Flame, Max Lee, Crazy, Jazzy, Whimsical Willow, Tired Little Bat, Gray, Star Minion, Blaze, Alafiri, Vic, Kota, Caroline, Calvin, Mutt, Trashy Kitty 69, Charlie Whip, Wilgrim, Kenma, Lemon on a Lily Pad, Ash, Cool, Tobias Johnson, Black Canary, Chaotic Kai, Coda Wolf, Phoenix Hodges, I Need Emo, Zen, My Darling, Dead Roses, Virtual Angel, Rain Mini, Mix Team 3A, Spoken Shepherd, Lettuce Man, Captain 8 Coco, Dame Melusina, Keegan Littell, Arty, Nova, Trinity, Haggis Stotts, The Crispy Boy, Bugs, Toad Beans, O03, Amati Avenue, Liam Paulson, Cyberhole, Forks, Bloody Roses, Tyler Jackson, Antique Social Clubs, Maria L, HB Savvy, Scott Jaws, Jen, Ollie Op, Cassian, Velma Pint, Sean Gorton, Sparrow, Emily Catherine, Casey Williams, Sam, Moth Ghoul, Wolfram Beanie, 9 3, HRT Stotter, Breezy Bot, Shadow Soul, Nicole, Loose, The Goblin King, Green Blue Number 2, Microphone, Bugsy, Bug, Sweet Candy Heart, Sol, K Bear, Amalia, Plant, Luca Di Amico, Cry Wolf 883, Agatha, Agatha Vink Sonic, Just Monica, Wind Mortal, Reaper, Sandra, River Wolf, Sirius and Robin, John Ward, Amy, Mochi, B, Evan Lena, Your Librarian, B York, Joey, Ruby Angel, Mathilde Bush, Cecilia Vigili, Hannah Manning, Sona Holikova, Delighter, The Quiet Girl, Cody, Hooty Hoot Lou, Henry Scott, Malachi Brown, Eris, Alexa Hillsman, Celeste Baudelaire, and Yumi. And a thank you to my familiars. Saladaria, Cecilia, Jocelyn, Jessica Louise Forsyth, Moon Melancholia, Dust Like, Pitch and Bunny, Ali, AJ, Curiosity Girl, Nocturnal, Joel Botter, Emotional Lizard, Tarragon, Sweet Silence, FHVH3646, RGBBETF, Jubilant, and Averinkin.